Welcome to the daily prayer recording from the Nativity of the Virgin Mary Macedonian Orthodox Church. Lord, allow me to peacefully receive what the day may bring, as well as surrender it completely to your holy will. Guide and help me every moment of this day. Whatever news I hear, may I receive it calmly and with a firm conviction that everything happens according to your holy will. Manage my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds and words. Do not allow me to forget in any unforeseen event that everything comes from you. Teach me to properly honor thy parents and love thy neighbor, to always lift others and instill happiness. Lord, Give me the strength to endure the fatigue of today as well as what happens within the day. Guide me with your will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to endure, to forgive, and to love. Amen. Good morning, dear parishioners. Today, we are, it's March 8th, and we are celebrating the life of St. Polycrop, Bishop of Smyrna. St. Polycrop, Bishop of Smyrna, this great apostolic man, was born without religion beliefs. His life changed when St. John brought him into the Christian faith and baptized him. Polycrop was left an orphan in early childhood. After a vision in a dream, a rich widow named Callista took him in and raise and educate him as her own son. Polycrop looked to God for directions in life and was compassionate for his early years. He made great efforts to emulate the life of St. Buculus and Holy Apostles John and Paul. St. Buculus ordained him priest and at the time of his death proclaimed him as his heir. From the very beginning, he had the power of wonder-working, healed sickness, and gifts of the prophecy. He also cast out the evil spirit from the servant of a prince. Seeing these wonders, many non-Christian believers began to believe in God. He later suffered gr greatly under an emperor that felt his power was threatened by Christian believers. Then the judge urged him to deny Christ, and he said, I cannot exchange the better for worse. When he was old and gray, they, they tied him up. During his difficult time, he prayed to God and shined like an angel of God. The judge then ordered his death by fire. As the people watched, they saw the flames burn around him, but never touch him. His body remained whole and unburned. Frightened by such a phenomenon, the judge ordered an execution. Because they had failed to burn him alive, the judge ordered his body to be burned after the execution. May our Lord Jesus Christ, through the prayer of the Holy Polycrop Bishop of Smyrna, bless us with long life, peace, health, and salvation. And of course, we are looking forward to see you, everybody, at this coming Sunday on our Divine Liturgy starting at 10.30 a.m. May God bless you all.